Today I want to talk to you how to judge your brewing result, experimental brewing or just judging your home brew or trying out something new for the first time that could be a new ingredient or that can be a new method what mindset you need to put yourself into this might be obvious to a lot of you but i've seen the opposite so many times in forum we are talking to people so i think this one can really help you out let's kick it i'm dr hans this is dr hans brewery well Obviously, this is a forest, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. My channel about beer and home brewing. <sighs> Damn it. First, two quick ones before we get in deep with this mindset. First of, don't think just because you couldn't do something that it can't be done, that would be extremely ignorant. And I've seen that over and over again, just not with brewing. And also, you really need to like get a positive outcome from uh, an experiment or whatever you're trying to judge to be able to get good data from it to draw conclusions. Let me uh, explain it a little bit further. And I would try to explain this simplified as, no, I won't swear, but as I would do a small child. You know what my channel has in common with the first flying machines? Well, they sucked. But look at us now, we've been to the moon, or have we? Just because the first flying machines couldn't fly, it didn't mean that it couldn't be done. Just because you can't do something, it doesn't mean that it can't be done. Don't be ignorant. Just because I fail with an experiment, it does not mean that it can't be done. Only from a positive outcome can I really pull some information, some good data. Of course, you can learn from every experiment, and you should. I guess we all have brewed a bad batch of beer, but what if that would be your first try making homebrew? You try to make beer at home and you failed. Did that mean that no one can brew beer at home? I can see what this is leading up to now, and I will try to explain it even more simpler, because I know some of you are like trying to uh, come together with a really nasty comment now, like something you would say, I, so if I try to put like three liters of salt in a five gallon batch, yes, I mixed liter and gallons for you, nice. And that beer came out disgusting. Is it, isn't that proof that you can't do that? That you can't put three liters of salt, ask your mom to go to the attic and take down the old jigsaw puzzle. Meanwhile, I will look for some My Little Pony clips to link in the description for you, because this is obviously going straight over your head and this is not appropriate content for you. But I will answer that question anyways. You had a positive outcome from that experiment. You tried if three liters of salt in a five gallon batch would make bad beer and it did. There you have your data. Now go and watch My Little Pony. When you succeed with something, there you have your data. You know that it can be done. If you don't succeed, it doesn't mean that it can't be done. It just means that you couldn't do it at that time. You could try again or let someone else try it for you. Like I do. I do this crazy experiment so you don't have to. Yeah. That's why my channel sucks. Uh, but I do appreciate the like. Ignorance is a bless. Is, is that a saying? But is, the, is it true? Maybe for ignorant people, but not for those who are listening to these people. When you hear people saying like, this is my full, complete guide. This is all you need to know on this topic. That would be extremely ignorant. I would unsubscribe immediately. And if I have done that in the past, I don't think I have done that because it would be extremely ignorant of me to think that no one knows nothing more than I do on a topic. If someone is truly saying, is truly saying stuff like that and believe it, they are extremely ignorant. You might have to be a, a sociopath or a psychopath. What's the correct term here? Comment down below. Or do they have an agenda? Why don't they want you to look elsewhere? Even if I try to make a full, complete tutorial or 
whatever guide to think that no one knows anything more than I do on a topic would be extremely ignorant of me. That no one could complement that guide to a higher level. You don't need to see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Be careful who you listen to, because sometimes people are giving you really bad advice. And bad advice and misconceptions are spreading on the internet. Think for yourself, but to judge result, you need to get into the mindset of getting a positive results from your experiments. This was my full guide, the complete guide into judging your experimental brewing results. This is all you need to know. Don't look anywhere else. Don't think for yourself. Instead, go and watch this video. See you in the next one. <laughs> Dr. Hans out.